the bird. Not far away is the favourite Preserve, going up quickly on the inside is Lady Mulan, and then comes Miss Thunderstood, followed closely by Donna Dior. A length further back, Midler, then Blab Speciality, and last of all is Tyrrelli, and Melusa clear leader now. 7.50 to run, a length and a half, her gap on 8.8. Third on the outside, Miss Powerbird. In fourth spot, Lady Mulan, followed by Miss Thunderstood, and then Donna Dior on the inside of Preserve, and wider out is Spectroscope. Then Blab Midler Speciality, and last of all is Tyrrelli, and traveling to the corner. 450 left to run, and Malou shows the way. Three quarters of a length to a length on eight eights. Followed by Miss Powerbird, Lady Mulan, Miss Thunderstood. Preserve has got plenty of galloping room, followed by Spectroscope as they come down to the 250, and Donna Dior's got three behind her. Eight eights out after Malou's Preserve is grinding away with Spectroscope, and Lady Mulan hooking away from the rails. Eight eights, Malou's, and now Preserve is starting to hit top gear. Preserve after eight eights on the outside, Blab is flying, but it's Preserve. Preserve from a tight finish, Blab wide out and eight eights, and then came Spectroscope, Lady Mulan and Malus Midler, Speciality, Tyrrelli and Donna Dior, Miss Thunder stood at absolute was Miss Powerbird. Super Tab 1 Preserve to return 320 and $1.40 for second. We look to number three, Blab at $2.70 or number eight, eight eights, $5 even. That late mile for the rest of Melbourne, we're up to race six, it's five, Sir Mula, number five, race seven, the late mile special of number four, Lady Elsie, number four, and race eight, number one, Lazare, number one. That's the late mile for Melbourne. So for the minors, Blab and eight eights. Number one is the winner, Preserve, Larry Cassidy, 280 and 140. Number three gets second, Blab, written by Damien Oliver, has paid 350. And the third goes to number eight, eight eights, written by Brian York, four dollars and seventy cents. Quinella, fifteen ninety, exacted twenty eight ten. The trifecta's paid two hundred and forty four twenty. Now the time will be of interest. It's one eleven forty three. One eleven forty three on this slow track, and the sectional run was thirty six oh one. The winner, trained by John Hawkes for the Woodland Stud Syndicate. She's by Kenny Ladd from Peach, a two year old chestnut filly. She's only had the seven starts. She's never been out of a place. Four wins a second and two thirds. And she was brilliant. And they've jumped away in a good line with Supercrest actually first to show out here as they approach the first with Sheridan God's Walkie. Sir Ritchie, past master, going up on the inside. Montand easing back. Noble Colony, the inside from Melos. Out last of all is We Ourselves, and in front of it there was our poetic star. Here's the second, and the Grey Gods Walkie got over it nicely at the 600 out by three lengths to Sheridan. Third placing going up on the inside, past master. On the outside is Supercrest, a length away to Sir Ritchie. Noble Colony sneaking up on the inside, followed by Montand, two to Melos, our poetic star. And three last of all is We Ourselves as they come around the turn. They've got two to get over in the straight, one down near the 200 metres, and the litter gods walk he held together on the outside of it is Sheridan a length away. Two lengths further back, Supercrest followed on the inside there by Past Master. Out a little bit deep is Montan going forward. Noble Colony tucked away on the inside of Sir Ritchie as they come to the jump near the winning post from our poetic star Melos and we ourselves. The leader Mac jumped it magnificently, God's walk as he leaves the straight, but he's joined by Sheridan, who's pulling fiercely on the rider and now takes over. And as they race to the 2,000 metres, Sheridan in front going to second, Montan back to third, God's walkie. A length and a half further back, fourth is Past Master on the outside of him, Supercrest. Then Noble Colony, the inside of Sir Ritchie as they go to the next jump, Melos. Our poetic star and last of all is We Ourselves, but only about eight from first to last. Down the side they travel 1,700 metres out and the leader was now Montan taking over from Sheridan who eases back. Two and a half to God's Walkie, third on the outside, Supercrest, nice and handy. As they approach the next, the jumping has been good. Past master off the bit, joined by Sir Ritchie. A length further back then comes our poetic star coming out three deep. On the inside Noble Colony with Melos and two to we ourselves. The jump at the 1300 and Montan opens up a break of three lengths now over Sheridan. Four or five away Thought God's walkie. A half length into Supercrest who's still running four two away past Master who's being written up then from Sir Ritchie. Noble Colony niggle that from our poetic star Melos and on top of the hill last of all is we ourselves. A thousand metres out as they swing down the railway side and it's Montan three or four in front. 
Second placing Sheridan, two and a half to Supercrest, now starting to get a move on. God's Walkie back to fourth on the outside, our Poetic Star making a run with Sir Ritchie. Further back then Melos, followed by Passmaster. Noble Colony well back and last of all is We Ourselves. 800 metres out and the leader Montan from second Sheridan. Supercrest now ridden along. Our Poetic Star making a run with Melos on the inside, Sir Ritchie. Noble Colony struggling back second last in front of him, Passmaster, God's Walkie and We Ourselves. 600 metres out Montan, the one they've got to catch though. It broke away again, two and a half to Supercrest. Third placing Sheridan, our poetic star, Melos Sir Ritchie. The winners in that lot did thick and further back, Noble Colony, we ourselves and past master around the turn. One to get over. At the 300, the leader was Montan, Supercrest under the whip is now coming after him. Our poetic star peeling out deep from Melos. Here's the last coming up, 200 metres out. Montan still the leader. Jumped it nicely, Supercrest has crashed to the ground there. In second place, now is our poetic star and then comes Melos but it's Montand in front 50 out our poetic star making a race of it but Montand is too good and Montand wins by a length and a half our poetic star three away third Melos then past master Sir Richie Sheridan further back we ourselves then came God's walk in a very tired noble colony has run last and that horse and rider both okay after a spectacular fall at the last and that was the favorite super crest that's good news eight montan willie harnett 792 even four our poetic star 293 melos 210 eight montan to return 910 and 240 for our poetic star 273 melos 230 four second our poetic star craig hedich and number three melos craig durden moving in at the coast Caulfield 843 Montan 792 dollars for our poetic star 290 3 Melos 2 dollars 10 Quinella 5120 320.49 the race time Quinella 50 dollars 20 the exacta 8240 and the 843 trifecta 604 dollars at Morford big mem presses the button and they're off a little slowly away to France with Hunter House and Kingview and Ombre de la Sierra with Sudden Hope, the three best to bounce. A length of the favourite veteran Hunter House improving, followed by in his prime, I'll get by and two lengths to France. Ombre de la Sierra is in front as they race to the 800, a half length on Hunter House. A length and a half to Kingview, followed by veteran racing on the outside of in his prime from Sudden Hope and I'll get by. And a couple of lengths further off is de France as they work their way down the side and the Queenslander, Ombre de la Sierra in a Muck Lather leads about three quarters of a length on Hunter House. King View in his prime, the inside, momentarily held up for a runner's veteran as they come to the home corner. And the leader, Ombra de la Sierra, three quarters of a length on Hunter House. Veteran waiting for the run. There's almost room for him, not quite at this stage, keeping him in King View. And on the outside, Sudden Hope and De France is deeper out. Now there's a gap for Veteran as they race down past the 200 marker. Ombra de la Sierra, a length and a half on Veteran, taking a half an hour. De France on on the outside, a danger to Ombra de la Sierra. De France picks up Ombra de la Sierra. De France and Ombra de la Sierra, but De France is going home a wee bit better. And De France gets there from Ombra de la Sierra. Veteran ran third, followed by Sudden Hope, and then came Hunter House. Further away was I'll get by in his prime at absolute king view. De France, number seven, written by Shane Dye, has taken out. Seven De France to pay 570 and 170. Six Ombre de la Sierra, 221, veteran 110. Ombre de la Sierra, number six, 230, and veteran number one, $1.10. The time for the race was 111.51. 35.94, the sectional. So there was uh, very little difference between uh, preserves run at uh, 111.43 and uh, here, 111.51. The Quinella on the race has paid $30.10, the Exacta, seven and six, $61, and the Trifecta, $146.60. The winner to France is trained by Clary Connors for the Kelly family. RJ, Mrs. S.O., J.W., Ms. S., C. and Ms. G.A. Kelly by Air de France from Montessori, read by Richard Kelly and the Shane Dye linking up with uh, Clary Connors in the win of de France. The uh, margin will be coming up in just a matter of moments. They're racing now 
And in the centre, Happy Challenger broke the line away quickly was Landseer. Cal Sheiky got away smartly and over on the outside, Sacred Shield, Regus. Behind those runners, Lands End drifting back, Piachale on the inside, followed by Dueling Royal Exit and last classic, Ben Barra. 900 metres out and Kel Shiki in front here at Sacred Shield by a head. Two lengths to Happy Challenger racing over on the inside there of Regus. Another two lengths away comes Landseer, Lands End on its inside, two to Piace, Dueling. Then Royal Exit and last of all is classic Ben Barra as they come up towards the turn. 600 metres out and Kelshiki travelling nicely by nearly a half length of Sacred Shield. Two lengths to Happy Challenger and Regus sits outside. Then comes Lands End on the inside of Lands here. Piace hooking through in the centre followed by Classic Benbara dueling dropping off and Royal Exit. Around the turn 300 metres out and Kelshiki going OK at the moment. In second place Sacred Shield then comes Regus. Down the outside Piace under the whip and coming with it was Lands End and then further back Classic Ben. Barra Kelshiki in front, Piace ducked in, lands in in the centre. Kelshiki grabbed by Piace and lands in, who bumped lands in, took the lead. Piace diving at it, lands in. Lands in won by a long head, Piace, who threw it away with greenness. Kelshiki third, then Regus, followed by Royal Exit making ground. Classic Ben Barra, Sacred Shield, Happy Challenger dueling, and last to pull up was Landseer. Number five, Lands End, Stephen King, twelve sixty three dollars one Piace, one thirty two Kelshiki, one fifty. At the Barrier Gold Coast, let's firstly clear the Newcastle Toads. And the numbers fourteen, three, and six. Okay, five lands end in Melbourne, 12, 10, 3, 10, 1, PHA, 1, 20, and 2, Kelshiki, $1.50 after the second on the program there at Caulfield today. Gold Coast race two coming up at 120, 125 is Adelaide race number two. As we clear the up... Racing in the ambition, spying seemed to dwell, and so too lease their back last. Sir Avalanche straight to the front from Roulette and De Glacier, then La Zagaletta to Brook is out a little wide from Summa Cum Laude, spying and lease. As they travel about 250 metres and Sir Avalanche leads clearly now from Roulette pulling his way through on the inside of a glacier. Tobruk going up to make a line of three. La Zagaletta is travelling next. Followed by spying on the inside of the grey La Zagaletta. Summa Cum Laude second last at about a length and three quarters to lease. 950 left to run. And the leader is Sir Avalanche. A length and a half clear on a glacier without cover. Roulette third on the inside. Tobruk is next. Followed by La Zagaletta racing on the outside of spying. Next to last Last is Summa Cum Laude and a couple of lengths to lease back about nine lengths off Sir Avalanche. Coming onto the side of the track and the 600 marker in their sights, Sir Avalanche. A length and a quarter of Glacier, Roulette the inside, deeper is Tobruk, followed by La Zagaletta. Spying over on the inside from Summa Cum Laude and lease another couple further back in last posse as they wheel for home. And Sir Avalanche drifting about two off the rails gives Roulette the run through. A Glacier hard ridden third, followed by La Zagaletta. Tobruk down the outside and deeper still is Summa Cum Laude down to the 200 marker. Roulette per medium of the lovely run joins Sir Avalanche and noses him. Then La Zagaletta followed by Summa Cum Laude to Brook and a glacier is next but the grey from Melbourne shot to the front. La Zagaletta Summa Cum Laude won't quite get him and La Zagaletta lasts to beat Summa Cum Laude. Roulette third and then spying Sir Avalanche a glacier to Brook and last of all was Lease and the late scratching at 1.35. Eight Georgie Boy. The Grey from Melbourne, La Zagaletta, written by Danny Beasley, 3.30 and $1.60. Okay, Super Tab unavailable, that late scratching still the on the board. The roulette will pay $2.90. They run the 1500 in 130.02. Last 635, 21 placings, official 2.11.6, the winner. La Zagaletta, trained by Lee Friedman for M. Throsby, M. Tabor and uh, Mrs. S. Magnia. My last tycoon from a swift gun mare, Swift Sind. The Zagaletta, a four-year-old grey entire, Danny Beasley in the saddle, taking the Ambition Stakes. Summa Cum Laude has run second, written by Craig Carmody, number 11. By Bite the Bullet from most excellent four-year-old bay horse, Stephen Engelbrecht, Craig Carmody, of course, and number six-third. Roulette by Celestial Dancer from Ala 2 or Alato. A five-year-old brown gilding Brian Guy, Brett Preble. The fourth was number three, and that was spying. Uh, Lease, he, he did absolutely nothing. He was last, he was a little slow to go, and he's last all the way. Did nothing under the urgings of the rider. 2.11.6, number three, fourth after the Ambition Race 3, from which Georgie Boy came out, the Quinella. 
Quinella dividend is $23.80, exact $42, the trifecta $378.40 margins. And they've jumped away in a good line. Captain Gulab has jumped away quickly. Fitzroy, Fitzroy ridden up with Troubadour and uh, going up on the inside, Gabler. From the outside rail, Joyenda crosses right over to the fence as they head down towards the judge. Up on the outside is Kahuna to share the lead now with Zaro. With a round to go, 2,100 metres out, the leader Zaro by a half-length Kahuna. Third placing over on the inside is Troubadour, followed by Fitzroy, Fitzroy. Ottoman is out four deep, going forward around Captain Gulab. And then Gabler back on the inside from Father Floyd, Narcissism, Joyenda, our Danarak, and one last of all is Halo Ruler, but only six or seven lengths first to last as they track to the 1800, where Zaro is in front on the outside, moving up now is Ottoman, so the two favourites sharing the lead, a length further back then, Kahuna the centre, Captain Gulab the outside, and Troubadour in the box seat, a length of Fitzroy, Fitzroy, a neck inside, Ed Gabler, a couple of these pulling from Narcissism, then Father Floyd, well back out, Danarak second last, Joyenda, and last of all, a length away is Halo Ruler, 14 100 metres out and now Captain Gulab lets go and takes over now. Zaro takes the trail, Ottoman the outside, two and a half then to Kahuna. Inside it is Troubadour, another couple to Fitzroy, Fitzroy followed by Gabler midfield. Then over on the outside, Narcissism, the rails out, Danarak. With it, Father Floyd, then Joyenda and last of all is Halo Ruler on top of the hill inside the 1200. And the leader, Captain Gulab by a length of Ottoman, two lengths further back, Kahuna racing on the outside of Zaro. A length and a half to Troubadour, Fitzroy, Fitzroy away from the rails, Gabler, then comes out Danarak around Narcissism as they sprint from the rear Halo Ruler, Joyenda and uh, Father Floyd down by the 800 Captain Gulab by a length Ottoman Kahuna, Narcissism out deep Zaro back along the inside, sweating on a run from out Danarak, Troubadour improving, then Gabler followed by Fitzroy Fitzroy losing ground there around it Halo Ruler, then Father Floyd and have dropped off Joyenda, 600 metres out Ottoman takes the lead, tackled by Narcissism, Captain Gulab struggling Kahuna, Troubadour looking for a run and Zaro, further back Father Floyd making some ground, Gabler and at the head of the others then Fitzroy Fitzroy and out Danarak as they come around the turn, Ottoman, Narcissism, Kahuna Troubadour back to the inside followed by Zaro, wider out then is Fitzroy, Fitzroy and behind it Gabler down to the 200 they're across the track, over on the outside Fitzroy, Fitzroy who dropped, a uh, rather Halo Ruler who dropped out on the turn has gone up to hit the lead here with Narcissism Zaro can't go on but the boulder Halo Ruler sprinting away and Halo Ruler gets in, wins by a length and a half to Zaro, Narcissism third, then Troubadour followed by Ottoman next in Father Floyd Gabler, further back Fitzroy, Fitzroy, with it there was Joyenda Kahuna, Captain Gulab and now Danarak has run last. Well, the winner number 12, Halo Ruler, Dale Misson, 61, 30 and 8, 40, 5, Zaro, 1, 30, 11, Narcissism, 13, 20. 12 Halo Ruler, 52, 10 and 7, 95, Zaro to return $1.40 and 11, Narcissism, $14.10. Correct weight, or in fact all clear at the Greyhounds on the previous. Hunters right out of the uh, water here. Very similar colours, head on to Fitzroy, Fitzroy. At, uh, both wearing maroon, maroon with a maroon cap. And... Uh, and the jockey sitting down over the horse's neck was impossible to tell them apart until all of a sudden I saw that white stripe on Halo Ruler. Right about to move into the coast. Our angel favourite, 340, 170. Racing. He came away quite well, Edward Bray. Harmonia dropped out near the back in company with Mr. Prudent. And Edward Bray, in fact, just leads from Pastor Express heading it now. Steel Phoenix moving forward and the same for better still. Racing down towards the 100 on the first occasion. And Pastor Express on the inside and Steel Phoenix are the joint leaders. Better still is out three wide, followed by Pravda Ultra Smug and then Edward Bray, followed by Consolidator, who can't get on the track. Harmonia is next on the inside of the hind, about three to Mr. Prudent and one length the Naka. Steel Phoenix goes to the lead and out of the straight they travel to the crossing at the 1800. Steel Phoenix opens up a length and a quarter better still. Pastor Express in the box seat third from Ultra Smug. Edward Bray's in the centre. Pravd is on the fence. Consolidator no luck in the early stages still very wide out. Followed by Harmonia on the inside of the hind. Mr. Pruden next to last and the Naka's last of all. 1500 out as they work towards the back of the course and Steel Phoenix lopes along. A length and three quarters on better 
still the fence is Pastor Express from Ultra Smug. Further back is Edward Bray, proud to the New Zealand mayor over on the inside, followed by Consolidator. About a length and three quarters then to the hind shading Harmonia from Danaka and Mr. Prudent last. Ten lengths off the leader, which is now Consolidator. Past the halfway in the Manion Cup at the 1200. And Consolidator goes to the lead from Steel Phoenix, then better still, Pastor Express Ultra Smug Pravda. Then a gap to Edward Bray, a couple to the hind, similar margin, Harmonia. Second last, another length back is Mr. Prudent, and the Ruffy Danaka is at the rear. Coming onto the side now, they're coming along to the 800 marker. And Consolidator making play. About a length and a half, Steel Phoenix from Pastor Express being given every possible hope. A gap to better still and wider is Ultra Smug, and then Pravda, followed by Edward Bray, Mr. Prudent, making a couple of lengths through on the inside. The hind is wide and the third last harmonious second last and Danaka brings up the rear. Onto the corner at the 500 and Consolidator being sent along in the lead. He's a length and a half clear as he comes about four horses away from the rails. Steel Phoenix second. Pastor Express right up against the fence is under the whip. Proud is into the clear. Ultra smug Mr. Prudent better still. And then comes the hind. Steel Phoenix pegs back Consolidator. They reach the distance. Steel Phoenix and Consolidator from Pravda and then Ultra Smug and the Hind, Steel Phoenix and Consolidator, Pravda and Ultra Smug with the New Zealand Mayor hits the front, Pravda and Pravda for the money. Pravda has beaten a photo between Steel Phoenix, wide out is Ultra Smug and Consolidator right up there followed home by Mr. Prudent and further back was the Hind, Edward Bray, Harmonia, Danaka, Pastor Express gave nothing and absolute better still. Five Pravda, five sixty-two ten. Number three, Steel Phoenix to return a place dividend of two dollars forty. Photo third, seven Ultra Smug at four fifty. Or number nine, Consolidator two seventy. Kel. Yes, all clear, Paul. On five seven and two, race three five seven and two thirty and sixty-two. They've run five and a half by six. All clear on the third in race four five. Gas Burner comes out. One a special odd knock to beat four and seven. And the fourth is due at two thirty-three. Thanks, Kel. We're showing a dividend of a 490. Steel Phoenix is there, gets a place. It's paying 260, but it's a super factor, and we'll have uh, all numbers coming up in a moment. Five, the winner, Pravda, written by Damien Oliver, is first. Number seven is second. That is Ultra Smug, written by Len Beasley, and a computer image is required to separate the third. And uh, Consolidator and Steel Phoenix, Steel Phoenix and Consolidator. It could even be a dead heat for third and a terrific finish to the Permastool in Emanion Cup. Pravda, trained by Paul O'Sullivan, by Zabil, the great Zabil from Foreign Copy, a four-year-old brown mare, owned by H.A. Fletcher, A.R. Galbraith, Ms. S. S. Elias, and W.M. Wilson. Damien Oliver, the winning rider, in the time of 2.31.75, 35.61 was the last 600 metres. Moving up Perth, one... Off and racing now, Confederate Kid a little bit slow to go. Bombaleo began well and Magic Claws with Lady Marion showing speed. Up handy early as Wild Style and Sackville Street. The Ruffy going through on the inside as Bombaleo eases back. Mr. Endurance around it as they run up the top of the hill, followed then by heaps of fun. On the outside, Mr. Endurance back then comes at the head of the others. Uh, would have been thong and push bike well back as they run down the side. At the head of the rest, Confederate Kid and urges back last. They sort themselves out now. A quiver takes. Over 850 out by a length second magic claws lady Marion third from wild style mr. endurance three deep a length of heaps of fun the center dance with us on the outside then Sackville Street saboteur George's magic bombaleo the inside thong and push by confederate kid and urge 600 meters out a quiver just in front here magic claws travels second a length and a half to lady Marion wild style off the track mr. endurance Sackville Street heaps of fun dance with us pulling wide a length for the back then to saboteur confederate kid commencing a run with George is magic. Bombaleo is a mile back with urge and thong and push bike on the corner. 300 out and Magic Claws has gone up to a quiver to hit the lead. Wider out Lady Marion. Wild style. Heaps of fun under pressure. Down the outside then Mr. Endurance. Confederate Kid. It's Lady Marion racing to Magic Claws and a quiver won't give in on the inside. Lady Marion took a narrow lead. A quiver trying to go with it. Lady Marion though drawing away and Lady Marion gets in by a neck to a quiver. Third in Magic Claws just in front of the flying saboteur I think in a photo. Then Mr. 
Mr. Endurance, a nice run, Wild Style, followed next then by Bombaleo Dance with us. Then heaps of fun, Thong and Push by Confederate Kid Wigan on its run, Sackville Street, Urge and George's Magic Last over the line. Number 10, Lady Mary and Kira McAvoy, 13.43.50, 5 a quiver at 2.60 and 6 hidden claws at 2.70. Number 10 there, that was Lady Marion to return 12.63.50, five a quiver 2.90 and six possibly third hidden claws to return 2.20. Day with, of course, Tester Rossa going around in Sydney. Number five is second, and that is a quiver written by Julian Harris, fought back and third placing goes to number six, and that is hidden claws lasting on the inside just ahead of the flying saboteur. Numbers are 10, 5, 6, 4th in 11 and 5th in number 9. The winner, Lady Marion. All right, paying 13, 40 and 3.55, a quiver, 2.60. Six hidden claws, $2.70. The Quinella, 59.80. Exacta, 112.80. The 10, 5... They're off. Bozeman, smartest away, commencing nicely, I spy on the same Pharrell Zabana, followed by Shine Over, then Midnight Babe, followed by Bombast Bicep, a gap of two lengths to final forecast, working a little closer to the fence, about three lengths to Luther, two lengths to South Bend, Yippee I is second last, and the favourite drops out last Ocean Run to the first corner, 15.50 to go, I spy the leader from Spicep with Bozeman back to third now, El Zabana's running fourth, and then comes wide out Bombast, Shine Over the inside, final forecast, cast one off the fence then bend by midnight babe about two lengths further off in the field is luther around south bend yippee io and last of all is ocean run moderately run tempo as they go down the back of the track at the 1200 marker i spy under restraint leads three quarters of a length on spy sept a length and a half away in the third position bombast is having no luck whatsoever he might have to let him slide forward the rider jimmy cassidy and he does so now and as they go to the thousand bombast doing almost joining i spy who's about a half length clear now. Two lengths to Bozeman on the inside of Spy Sept and about two and a half further back on the inside Shine Over. From El Zabana, final forecast, Midnight Babe, then Luther with three behind him, Yippee Io South Bend at Ocean Run. Working along the side of the track, it's I Spy in front, about a half to three quarters of a length, Bombast. On the fence is Bozeman, then Spy Sept, Shine Over El Zabana, final forecast, Yippee Io circling the field, Midnight Babe awkwardly positioned, and then comes Luther, second last, the favourite Ocean run about to be revved up by Larry Cassidy and South Bend drops out last I Spy snuck away on straightening up on the Gay Waterhouse trained I Spy, two lengths clear now from Bozeman followed by Spy Sept and then Bombast Yippee I.O. and Midnight Babe, I Spy is the leader, on the inside Shine Overs made up many lengths, Spy Sept joining in followed by Bozeman, Bombast and Yippee I.O. but Spy Sept out in the centre, Spy Sept is coming away from Bombast and Yippee I.O. and Spy Sept beat Bomb Best. Third was Yippee I.O. Followed in by Shine Over Midnight Babe, Luther South Bend. I Spy got very tight over the last 200 and beat in final forecast. Bozeman Ocean Run went disgracefully and beat one in El Zabana. Seven Spy Sept, nine ten, three twenty, three Bombast, two sixty, one Yippee I.O., two thirty. Nine fifty and two seventy. Bombast, gee, he ran a race, didn't he? Number three, Bombast, two dollars ninety. And one Yippee I.O. has paid two dollars and 50 cents. That's the way they'll be uh, placed after race five here, the male marketing work stakes. And the winner trained by Cliff Bashford at Newcastle for Mr. A and Mrs. L. Cox. By spectacular spy from Sigamos, a four-year-old grey gelding, Darren Beatman aboard has run the 1900 in 159, 13, 35, 36, the sectional time. And the numbers are up, seven, three, and one. Spy set first, Bombast second, and Yippee Io third. The official fourth was number